Does that bring up any questions or concerns for anybody? I do have a question about this, Dr. Connor. Um, I have several people in my life that are telling me, oh, you've got to go get surgery, and, and um, I'm not quite certain how to handle them. Um, one of them specifically is in her 10th round of chemotherapy. And um, I just need some words of wisdom as what to say to them. I mean, I wrote down what you just said about, um, you know, putting it in the hands of our Heavenly Father, and I totally believe that. But sometimes it gets overwhelming. The, they think they're, um, you know, being sure. nice and good to me, but it, it gets to the point where I'm avoiding people now. Well, I'd, I'd suggest you go, you go and you read the book of Galatians. Because that, ha honestly, that has helped me a lot to deal with people that disagree with I me. I just started it this morning. So, um, and that the, the truth is, from a psychological standpoint, people want you to do what they're doing because it justifies what they're doing. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing what they're, even if they're running off of a cliff and jumping off of a cliff, as long as there's more people doing it, then they feel good about it. So, and I'm not saying that what that person is doing is wrong for her or him. It's that, but when, when, when someone is judging you, um, the, you can feel it, can't you? Oh, yes. And so make sure that you're not judging other people. Don't judge them that they're doing the wrong thing um, because you're going to be judged the same way. Okay. So just go, hey, whatever is right for you, then you should do that. But don't judge me on what I'm doing. I really respect that. Or we're going to have to distance ourselves from each other a little bit during this process. Um, and there isn't anything wrong with doing that. And if that person is really a real friend, they'll you know, apologize and they'll respect your decision. And if they're, if they're so in... Um, insecure about their decision-making process, they're going to be more um, apt to pressure you to do what they're doing because then that will give them more security. So it's really coming from that person's insecurity, um, but it still doesn't feel good. Uh, so I understand that. So you're, you're just going to, you might have to have a talk with that person if they're close, if they're a family member that you, that they're not, that they're always going to be in your life. If they're not a family member, that's going to be not in your life, and you could, you know, move them, move that relationship a little, make a little distance in that relationship. It might be the best thing to do. Okay, thank you. The biggest thing is you want to respect everybody's decision because it's their decision, and when you, when we stop judging other people, then we're not judged with that same judgment. Um, but even when we stop judging other people, people can be judging us. Mm -hmm. And those are people that maybe we either have a talk with and say, you know, you're judging me on the decision I'm making. You need to respect my decision or we need to not talk so much. And, and um, if they're truly a friend and they're truly mature, then they should be able to handle that. If if not, then then maybe maybe it was time to say goodbye for a while. So um, that that would be my opinion. So thank you. 